finish up our um, series of videos on the high school building project. Um, I'm with Kirk Downey, Superintendent of Schools, and Joe Gleason, Chairman of the School Building Committee. Uh, do you have any final thoughts, Kirk, that you'd like to share with people on this project? Yes, I do, Bob, and thank you for asking. Um, you know, we're at a critical juncture right now. This is a decision that we are making that is critical to the future of not just today's students, but the students of our three towns for decades to come. We do not have a school building that can meet the learning needs of our students today. It was built in a time where we had to fulfill an industrial economy. And the fact of the matter is the world has changed, times have changed, and our school systems need to reflect that. So this is the moment that we're at. So let's address these issues that we have with our current building, but leverage it to provide our students the absolute most outstanding education we can possibly give them. So I, I really hope people come out to, to support the project uh, when it goes before our residents in September. Very good. Joe? Uh, thank you, Mr. Skansky. Um, you know, I think that uh, I, I can't speak for all of our other members of the building committee, but I know that for me personally, there was that one epiphany moment that uh, uh, I in interacted with a couple of years ago, and it had nothing to do with anything that our architects, our OPM, or even some of what Mr. Uh, Frieswick had touched upon. It had to do with an article that I read in the Eagle Tribune, um, originally from the Merrimack Valley. And there was a very interesting article in the Eagle Tribune, uh, actually a series of articles in the Eagle Tribune, uh, relative to a community up in the Merrimack Valley that has been, for the last uh, eight or 10 years, in the MSBA process looking to secure financing for the construction of a new high school in their community. And as of April of this year, that community has received its 10th rejection letter from the MSBA. So as I said earlier in our conversation, you know, many are called but few are chosen. Um, I think this is an opportunity for our district that we cannot afford to lose. Um, if we do not approve uh, the financing for this new high school next month, what will happen then is we will go into what I call MSBA purgatory. And there's no guarantee that you get out of MSB pur purgatory in the near future. Uh, this community in um, the Merrimack Valley that uh, was re has been rejected 10 times, um, there are a number of factors different from our own district relative to why they haven't qualified for financing. But the bottom line is, is that they haven't. And they're looking at the possibility of financing their own high school renovation or reconstruction. They're looking at significantly higher costs that we are looking at right now, and they're looking at a timeline for this that puts them in the early 2030s for even the commencement of this project. So we have to carpe diem, we have to seize the day. I believe um, if we don't, then the MSBA is gonna just push us to the side and they're gonna take the next person, the next entity I should say, in line and say, well, we'll get back to you maybe someday in the future. So I think this is an important factor to consider. I know that there are some critics of the project, but um, if those critics uh, win the day, we could be looking at a long slog in the future as far as our high school is concerned. So that's my final thought, Mr. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.